I've seen the worst of humanity, but also I have seen the best of humanity. My name is Ippolite Nhigurga. I'm Rwandan, 30 years old. During the genocide that was carried out against the Tutsi people in Rwanda in 1994, I was seven years old. I survived by hiding in the bush. My dad was killed in that time. Many of my family people were killed and others were raped in front of me. I happened to go to a refugee camp. It was left with, with no food, with no security. We were always hoping to be killed and leave the misery behind. I didn't know what was going on. I knew that I had to hide. I could hide under dead bodies, and mass graves, but I didn't know why we were being killed. When I was 15 years old, I was not able to find transportation to go to school. And that was a few years after the genocide. I stopped going to school. I was deciding to become a killer to do revenge for my family, for my dad, and for my friends who were killed. Then I got helped by a Congolese medical doctor. Then I went back to school. I started learning about sociology, and they said sociology was the study of interactions of people. I came to realize that what was killing us in genocide was not people, but the hatred that was taught for so long. And that time I said, if I become a killer, if I don't forgive, then I will not doing the right thing for my kids or for other people or young generation. That's the time I started going back to my family and tell them we have to forgive. So we started forgiving that time. And then I decided that I'll be preaching and talking about reconciliation and peace. I wanted the world and those people who were killers to think about the price of, of peace, of lasting peace. It's not easy to forgive, but I did it so that the world and themselves can learn the price of lasting peace. I started using art when I was in, in primary school. I couldn't speak in class because I was sitting in class. I could be remembering the screaming voices of people that I have seen being killed or raped. I wanted to tell the story, but I didn't know how to tell the story. And the teacher helped me to start a theater class. Then from there, I started using art to address issues. I did my master's. After that, I said, OK, I have to do something big. I founded my foundation. Hippolyte for Peace, that's where I, I work with young people. The overall mission or objectives is to involve young people to love each other and also to break this cycle of the transmission of hatred from their parents or from their elder siblings to them. Now where my mom lives, she lives close to people who killed my family members or who killed my dad. And people from prison who have committed genocide are coming back in, 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 in the villages. If there is a tragedy and politics do not do anything to make the country move forward or the society, then it's hard for individuals to move. Everything I do, smiling or forgiving, I don't do it for what happened. I do it for future generations. I am optimistic, but I am not blinded by what we have achieved. I believe this is what you give, not what you ask others to give you. When you have faced something like genocide and you survived by miracle, what else would you do except being positive and except being appreciating life you have?